Well, there's the old prop and the center there is spinning. I'm going to take that out, cut some grooves in the rubber, cut some grooves in the um, bronze, and I'm going to silicone that back in, and then put this seal back in, put washers on the front to stop the thrush pushing that out again, because it's only two inch. Now the new one's come, it's three inch, from there to that spline, it's three inch, which will go on my shaft, but it's too much high there, as they all said online. So I've got to go up Davis today, buy some grinding discs, and we've got to cut that off all the way around there. While I'm at it, I'm going to take this one back a little bit more, so I'm going to be 100% sure both of them are not hitting the housing, and they're on the spline. So up Davis as soon as we've got a cup of tea, and see if we can win on that one. Well, I've had a busy week this week. I um, went out in the mate's boat and having trouble with him. I had to buy a new prop for my engine. And there it is, and it's a little bit bigger than what it should have. It's three inches from back to front, which should only be about two. So I've got to do a PS conversion to it. And there you go. Yeah, now fit perfect. As you can see, I've got to cut the front of the blades off. But that's a Yamaha prop going on to um, Suzuki engine. So um, it's a lot better prop than what was on there, and there's a lot more meat on the center as well. But there you go, that's the one I took off. Let me show you the one, the one I'm putting on rather. Let me show you the one I took off, and uh, see if you can compare the two. There's the one I took off. There's the one I'm putting on. That's the back, that's the back, that's the back. And I don't know if you can see the difference in thickness. But this little one, when it was on there, there was so much shaft sticking out the back here because that's not really big enough. That was too small a prop. It was cavitating like hell. This one now is a proper jobby. It will do the job lovely. But it's all of a, a eight, nine horsepower Yamaha instead of a Suzuki. But I've done the alteration. Bit gutter really. I took a little bit too much off of this here I could have left a little bit more on but then the blade would have been too big I'm not a size down so there you go I'm down to fit that now job done what a busy day we've had sorting the mates boat out as well okay you've all seen the new propeller that I made smaller and um, the one that broke I've now took the rubber bushing out of the inside along with the um, spline and what I've done I've got a, a fitting on the end of there now so when that propeller that lines it up in the front and we stay dead in line now I'm gonna fix that back in but when I first do it I'm gonna put epoxy down around the side here as you can see around the side there fill that all out with epoxy and um, hopefully I've got a job lot got a solid prop okay I've put the bush in and um, centralised her I need to wait for the epoxy to go off a little bit so I can centralise her dead centre and then she'll stay where I put her. And then I'll fill all around the outside up with epoxy, put the back seal back in, and fingers crossed, back up propeller. Okay, there you go. The centre bush is in, and it's um, just epoxied around here and centralised, and I believe I have it. More or less as central as anybody's going to get that by eye. When it comes to putting clutches in, and you've got to line that clutch line up, I'm pretty good. I've never done them wrong yet. So that, I turn it to the light, is nigh on perfect. You, you, it's hard to do with the camera, but when you get the round hole in line with the other hole, perfectly there you go, dead centre. Now, I was going to fill the, the centre in, 
and it'd be a finished job but I think it's a bit like measure twice cut once I've got all these that's the spacer I cut that's the spacer I cut I cut down from that from that to that so now I've got the choice I can either put that on as a spline chaser there and that'll let the spline and stop the prop going too far forward it might that's best if I put it on that way and if not I've got to use that one but it all depends whether this here hits the hub on the engine side but I'm going to take it down and try it anyway and as I say I've got no end of washers and um, different fittings to try so let's try that before I do anything else and then I'll epoxy it tomorrow well there you go I've now got the centre filled with epoxy and um, what I've done I've warmed there's no rubber there now so I've warmed all the whole unit up so as the epoxy's gone in it's gone very thin and ran like water and I've stuck a thing down the side and shook it to get bubbles out and now this is still well warm so there's plenty of time for the bubbles to come out so hopefully there's a finished propeller and that will do for a backup not for the main jobby but because these propellers got no shear pin if they go they go they say they got a limp home mode but i'm not sure but anyway this one will definitely have a limp home mode because it will only be limping anyway that's how to repair a crap rudder because propeller and uh, give it a thought why is why do they call this a propeller simple answer because it is one <laughs>